Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the slot sum of the important concepts, so shorthand notation and all those things we have seen, right? Now, in this video, we will see another slot concept that is nothing but scoped slots, okay? What is this scoped slots? Okay, let's try to see this one in this video, okay? Before continuing to this video, as usual, what I will be saying, so if you are coming first time to here, Please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be getting motivation to do more and more front end development courses. So, we will be doing more and more not only Vue.js, we will be covering all the front end development concepts, mobile application, and all those things also. So, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Now, coming to this video, what we will try to do is here, let me create one component, okay, hobbies. So I will show you with an example that scope slots about the scope slots. Okay, now template. I will be having a template. So same thing like how we will be doing. Same thing like this we will be doing. And here I will go. What I can do is one second. Yeah. Okay. Now I will be having script here. Okay. And I can do export default. And here, what I can do is so all the time I will be writing export wrong spelling. And I will be having data. Oh. And I will be having uh, what other thing we can have here. And I will be having hobbies here. Same thing. So, reading and writing. Okay. So, we, we are now learning, right? So, learning. We can write the learning also. Okay. So, we are learning the courses, uh, development courses. So, there is a reason we are reading and writing, practicing, and also the learning. So, three things come under this one. Now, what I can do is so now let me uh, I will write UL and I can write LI. So, I can do the I can add the bootstrap class here list hyphen group. Okay. And I can do here LI class is equal to list hyphen group hyphen item okay list hyphen group hyphen item i have written the list hyphen group hyphen item and now what i need to do hobby in hobbies just i am looping over these all things sorry hobbies we have the hobbies right i will just paste the hobby and we already know that if we are using vi hyphen per means in the vue.js it is better to mention the key Without mention key also it will work, but I told you right why to mention the key. Now this is the simple hobbies component. Now what I will try to do is here let me go and I will write, I will declare. What is this type of declaration? So I have already told you in the previous uh, to, uh, previous thing. Global, see sorry, local. So local registration. Okay, we have done the global also. Global means we will be doing in the main.js app.component like this we will be doing right now this is the local registration now i can go here and i can do the hobbies now here what i will try to do is here let me have another container okay why to add it in this one so i can do row call mod 12 sorry call mod 4 only i will take okay i will write hobbies one hobbies here Hobbies component and also one another hobbies component. I will write right another hobbies component. Okay. So if you are not if you are not able to see the screen, if the screen is uh, what I can say the font size is not uh, is little bit lesser or anything is, please let me know in the comments or anywhere. So I will increase the size of the size of the fonts also. I think hope I can, I think you will be able to understand. But those who are seeing in the mobiles. I think they will be finding they will little bit difficult. Now I have added the hobbies thing, both the hobbies thing here. Let me check the output. Here we are able to see the reading, writing, learning. I am able to see the output, right? Now what I will try to do is uh, just I will add some class is equal to my iPhone 5 and py iPhone 5. Just I am adding some margin. Why? Because it has it has gone way down right so okay fine now uh, let add here also my open 4 so that there will be no attachment yeah so the reading and writing so we are able to see the hobbies 
two slots we are able to see now my requirement is what is what is my requirement is in this component i want to show somewhat what i can say thickness okay so font size i want to i want to use the h2 tag here okay so let's see i want to use the h2 tag here here normally if i want i can i want to use the div tag here how can i use so i can't go here and i can write directly h2 here if i write h2 here automatically all the places it will be h2 only but i want in this hobbies i will be i i should be able to write what i can say h2 and in this one it should be due tag it's it could be better that if we mention h2 here and the hobby if you write the hobby name here and it will be better for example here if you want you can write the due tag or whatever the thing you want you can mention okay but here we cannot able to get the hobby right we cannot able to get the hobby details I cannot I cannot get the hobby details. Why? Because this is app.u and the hobbies details are all present in the component. So I cannot get the data from this child component to the parent component here. So now how can it what can I do? So now here comes this scope put slots. Scope put slots comes into picture here. Now what I can do is so here I can remove sorry. I can remove there you are. yeah. I can remove this slot. Oh, okay, I can add this slot and I can send the data as a property here. So, hobby is equal to hobby. I can write the hobby is equal to hobby. So, the data what I am trying to send, I can send it here. And here, in the he, in here, what I can do is I can use the template. Okay, the template and I can write it here. And here we will be having VIF and slot or otherwise VIF and slot default is equal to you will be able to get all the slot props that slot props using the variable slot props okay this is a fixed one slot props you will be able to get this one in using the slot props and we already know we can write hash here okay the same scenario if you want to use here so you will be having slot props dot hobby okay so if you have multiple properties means for example if you if i want to send it here another one something like uh, item is equal to something like uh, one or anything if I'm, if I'm trying to send more than means so you can access it through the object okay the same scenario i can write here same thing template and here i can write hash default sorry hash default is equal to slot props and here I can copy this one and I can paste it here. And I can use the same thing slot props dot slot props dot hobby. Okay, I can use like this directly. So we are sending this one as a scope here, and we can access this one like this. So now if I try to check the output here, see this one is applied as an H2, and here it is applying as div. So this is how we can send the data from the child child to the parent which whatever they, they are using the scopes scope uh, slots thing now another thing also you need to remember is for example if you are having only one template one template means only one slot if you are having one slot means you can you can directly remove this one and you can directly use for the component directly okay you can remove this template so this is also one of the feature how you can use so now if i refresh this one so you will be able to access this one okay and another one what i want to mention is for example if you want to instead of using this object you can also destructure the object that means i can write it here like this and whatever the name you are using i can we can use hobby comma item okay these these are the two properties we are able we are sending right hobby and item so the same names we can use it like this and i can use directly the hobby here okay now if i try to refresh so you will get the item is never defined but never used so you are not using it so if you are trying to use only then you can mention it here or otherwise you cannot they don't need to mention okay you will be able to get the same output for example if i am trying if i want to use item also i can use like this and i can write here item okay you will be always you will be displaying only one okay so here one only the number only you are getting okay so this is how we can use the uh, destructuring also for example if you want to use uh, dummy also for example if i want to use something like uh, uh, name if you want to use the name properly so instead of using hobby if you want to use name you can use the column 
name and you can use this name property okay like this also you can use for example you don't have the item so if you if you want to remove if, if there is no item property you can also mention the item default one as one okay or something like two you will be able to see here see two so you can also mention the default properties for this item why because here the item is not there as is is not sending it as a property if it is sending means it will fall back okay if item is equal to four now it will be fall back so now four you will be able to see the four if if they are not sending any item so default value so i have already mentioned it here in the same scenario hobby also you can mention okay so this is the scenario you can use you can use the uh, dummy name and you can destructure the object object or otherwise you can use directly slot props and you can use this one okay so these are the scenarios how you can use so these are the types how you can use so for example if you go here the slots concept so we have covered so many slots concept here right so we have seen the basic slot slot thing with the button thing we have created and we have seen the slot thing and now another one is rendering a scope rendering a scope means that we can access the parent parent data it is trying to sell okay it is trying to tell okay parent data we can use fallback content also we have used that means slot if the slot doesn't have any data or anything if, if if they are not sending any data means so for the slot in between the whatever the html content mentioned between the slot it will be displayed default okay fallback and name slots we have seen the name results header main footer the same thing we have seen with the card example so name slot also we have covered okay and in the name slot also we have seen the what i can say we have v slot header v slot content and v slot footer we have seen like this and we have also seen the fallback content for the named slots also okay scope slots now this is the scope slots what we are we are what we have learned same scenario item comma index here they are using so they are, uh, they are sending like this okay using the slot props slot props dot item they are able to access now here you'll be able to see that uh, default vi if see if there is only one template means so they can write it here directly for the component name so the same thing we have used we if and slot is to default we can use or otherwise hash default also we can use if you don't want you can use vf and slot is equal to also you can use okay so stick to one thing so instead of using all these things stick to one thing okay there it will be better now what i can do is this is the invalid method why because to do list inside the again we are calling the to do list this results in the ambiguity okay uh, when there are multiple where, where if you are having multiple slots means it is better to mention it as a template only instead of using for this to do list directly it is better to use the template concept only. okay destructuring the slot props means i have already shown you that item how we can destructure this one item to do where in the place of item name we can use this to do variable and also we can define the default value also uh, fallback value also we can make dynamic slot names means so if you want to use the variable name from the for example if you have if you are having the variable name here here in the data in the data if you are having the variable name you can directly mention this one using the square bracket like this okay so that is the dynamic slot name name is shorthand i have already shown you hash at the slots shorthand and also hash is equal to this one we should not use if you are using only hash means you should not use hash default you should use okay so this is totally about this slots concept in the vue.js i hope you understood about the slots concept so these are the, see, the slot concept is one of the advanced concept in the vue.js 3 so that is the reason i have covered so many videos on this one so we have learned about the basic slot concept we have seen the named slot concept and also we have seen the scope slot concept so the slot concept will be very useful for us why because previously in vue.js 2 what you are what you will be having is you you are having about the um, what i can say inline template feature okay inline template feature you are having about the inline template feature so that feature has been removed in this vue.js 3 so now if you are using for the seo purpose inline template feature if you want to use this so the only way how we can use is this the slot feature okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you